Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com, and today I'm going to show you how to find and scale other people's recipes. Uh, I'm here on the Beersmith homepage, uh, Beersmith Recipes homepage, I should say, at BeersmithRecipes.com. I do have my trial active, so I can go to the recipe editor if I wish. Um, obviously, you can go up here and you can search for recipes. For example, I'm going to search for stouts, and I can go down and sort them by rating and find the top rated recipes and things like that. Or I can go back to the home page and look for things like uh, the ones that are rated the most, for example. And you can see the top rated recipe here is uh, Bell's Two-Hearted Clone. So I can click on that. And if I like, I can bookmark this recipe, clicking on the bookmark button, or I can store a private copy. Now, if I want to work with the recipe, I probably do want to store a private copy and edit that. So I'm going to start by clicking here on Store a Private Copy. Um, now it's added to my Recipes folder. I can go up here to Recipes or over here to the Recipes Editor button. Either one will get me to the Recipe Editor, which shows a list of my recipes for Beersmith. And uh, you can see the Bell's Too Hearted one is right here. I'm going to click on that and open it. And uh, now, obviously, it's set up for somebody else's equipment profile and their size. It looks like it's uh, maybe a five-gallon recipe here, probably. Um, it's actually six gallons, I guess, if you look at the batch volume here. But I want to scale it up to my particular system. So I'm going to click on the Scale Recipe button. I'm going to choose my equipment profile. And I happen to be working with a Brew Easy system, a 10-gallon system. So I'm going to select that, OK on that. And that's going to take the original 6-gallon volume, scale it up to my 11-gallon system, and adjust everything to match my particular system. Now if I press OK, uh, you can see that everything's been scaled up. All the numbers, uh, all the grains have been scaled up. All of the uh, hop additions have been scaled up to match my particular system. And if I want to save the changes for that, uh, just go up here and click on Save Changes. And now I can literally just push on the brew steps here, which will give me a printout of step-by-step -step instructions on how to brew this recipe. Again, scaled to my particular equipment profile. Uh, all the water amounts, everything's been adjusted so it matches my equipment. I can also go back here and click on the brew day timer, for example, and it'll show me step-by-step -step, uh, how to go through the mash and the boil. So that's kind of cool. I can get the mash timer here, the boil timer here. I can start it and run it right from within my browser. And these same features are also available on, uh, at, at beersmithrecipes.com if you access it from your mobile device. It's a slightly different layout, obviously, as well as a desktop program if you want to download the desktop program. Um, so if I press OK, uh, obviously it'll save that, and I've got it saved now as Bell's Too Hearted, um, all adjusted for my equipment profile. So that's a quick tutorial on how to adjust other people's recipes, how to find them, how to download them, how to put them into your recipe folder, and then, of course, how to edit them and match your particular equipment setup. I'd like to thank you for listening. Again, you can go to Beersmith.com, learn more about Beersmith, or BeersmithRecipes.com if you want to start your free 30-day uh, trial of the web-based version of Beersmith. Thanks.